What is the most dangerous food allergy? Well, studies have, sh uh, that have looked at uh, what is the most uh, common cause of a fatal allergic reaction uh -huh. have shown that peanut actually is the most common cause. So if somebody's allergic to peanuts, it's time to see the doctor immediately. Absolutely. How common is it? How many people have peanut allergies? About one and a half million people so have food allergy in the United States. That's huge. Mm -hmm. um, some of those die? Unfortunately, about 50 fatalities per year due so to So 50 food fatalities a year with peanut allergy. Well, if you get somebody that says they can't tolerate peanuts, uh, what are the symptoms that they have? Uh, a lot of times they'll have skin symptoms, hives, swelling of the lips and tongue, uh, cough, vomiting, diarrhea, uh, serious reactions. And then what makes them die? They lose their blood pressure or it goes Usually the low blood pressure or swelling of the throat, the airway, blockage of the airway. When somebody comes in and says, when I eat peanuts, you know, I go into this bang allergic reaction like you just described, uh, can you skin test that patient? You send off for blood work. How do you how do you talk to that patient? Well, if they've had a severe reaction like you're describing, generally I would prefer to send blood work, uh, just because there is a chance that those patients, if we skin tested them, could have a severe reaction. Uh, if it's a less severe reaction, I'd do skin testing. And if the skin testing shows peanut allergies, mm -hmm. how, what do you advise the patient? Avoidance. No peanut in their diet. So really, the treatment of food allergies is going to be avoidance no matter what kind of food it is. Is yes, that right? Yes, correct. And how good are people at avoiding peanuts? Not very good. About mm. uh, People end up having an accidental exposure once every three years or so despite careful avoidance. So it's a very hard thing to avoid. You know, I've seen some patients that they just change their complete lifestyle trying mm -hmm. to stay away, but still somebody brings a cookie that's got a peanut right. in it, or somebody mm -hmm. has a salad where there was peanut in the previous salad, something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. So there's all sorts of ways that people can make mistakes. Yes. How do you prepare them if 50 people die in a million and a half, what do you tell them to do? Well, most important thing is education. I think as an allergist, I really tried to point out what are the high risk situations they may come in contact with. So at ice cream parlors, particularly Asian restaurants, um, Mexican restaurants are high risk uh, places where they may have accidental exposure. So they just take Benadryl with them and carry it everywhere they are? What are you having to do? No, they need an, epi, an EpiPen. Now what's an EpiPen? It's, it's an epinephrine pen and it's basically an injection of adrenaline which helps reverse the, re the severe reaction. And so does the person have to learn how to give themselves a shot? I always teach the patient before they leave my office, the patient or the patient's parent, how to use the epinephrine pen. It's, very, it's fairly simple. It's very simple. Describe mm -hmm. what they have to do. Um, basically, there's a safety cap, a gray safety cap. They have to take that off, and once they have taken that cap off, it's ready to use. Mm -hmm. They hold it like a pen or a pencil uh -huh. and put it into the side of their leg, okay. waiting about 10 seconds to let the medicine and inject. How, when do they know how to get, when to give that shot? Well, generally, if they only have hives or skin symptoms, a Benadryl would be appropriate, but if it's hives plus anything else, hives plus swelling, of the lips, tongue, throat, hives plus vomiting, diarrhea, or difficulty breathing, then they would need to use the epinephrine pen. And I always tell them they need to go to the hospital once uh, they've immediately because that can be a life threatening.